and Assalamualaikum. Hi, my name is Siti Nur Umayyah Patricia binti Mawar Rosli. I am a science student from UITM Delhi. So, for today, my group which is group 2, we will have a little discussion regarding biodiversity in Malaysia. But before I get start, I want to ask a question to our beloved viewers. I was just wondering, how aware does today's society towards what has happened to our diversity, especially to endangered species uh, uh, in Malaysia? As year and year pass by, we can see the decrease in numbers to the total of some species has led for some species begin to extinct. For example, Malayan tigers, turtles, and Asian elephant are some animals that are now experiencing extin extinction and now its population is very low. But today, we will talk about a species that is very rare and unique to us which is the chestnut nepper folktale. In Malaysia, chestnut nepper folktale, or scientifically known as Anisurus rufikapilus, can be found in Sabah and Sarawak. Specifically, mostly of it can be found along the rivers, streams in lowland and hill rainforests. A single chestnut napper folktale weight almost 27 grams and is 18 to 20 centimeters long. There's a difference between male and female. If we look at the male's head, it is chestnut colored with white forehead and black mask in front of the eyes. For female head, it is the same as the male, except the belt at the man, the back and the mantle, mantle is chestnut. The, the wings for both male and female are both black with a white wing bar. The breast is white with black bearing, fading, to, fading towards the white belly. The rum is white and also the tail is black with stripes and a white tip. <laughs> in their habitat which can prevent outbreaks of pests and maintain the balance of the local ecosystem. Third, contribution to the food web. Foxtails are part of the food web in their ecosystem. They serve as prey for larger birds, mammals and reptiles, contributing to the, all, to the overall biodiversity and, function, and functioning of the ecosystem. <laughs> human-induced climate change. The consequences including disrupted migrations, 
reduce, repro re reduce reproductive success, habitat fragmentation and population declines. This leading to potential species extinction. To address this issue, we must mitigate climate change, protect habitats, conduct research and foster international cooperation for bird conservation. Preserving biodiversity is vital for ecosystem health. Lastly, bird extinction could cause by pollution. Bird extinction caused by pollution is an urgent environmental crisis. Pollution resulting from human activities such as chemicals, oil spills, plastic waste and air pollution adversely affects birds in various ways. Consequences include reduced reproductive success, health issues, habitat contamination, altered behavior and direct mortality of birds. To address this issue, we could do reducing pollution, restoring, restoring habitat, conducting research, raising public awareness and fostering international cooperation with our essential step. The survival of bird species is vital for ecosystem health and urgent action is required to protect them from the pollution. be the actions taken for conservation. First of all, the conservation of forests. Our government has to reforestation to retain their original habitat. They develop the trees as before to restore the best open. Furthermore, uh, our government has also uh, enforced the law of the endangered species or wildlife. This thing, according to the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 at 76, which is a Malaysian Act that unifies law relating to wildlife and further to make provisions to provide protection to wildlife and for purposes related thereto. When this act has been enforced, uh, people will afraid to move wrong to this species. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the government has created two methods in situ and at situ. Both of these methods were applied to sustain the population of the bird uh, to not become extinct. For your knowledge, uh, in situ is defined as the conservation of a species in its natural habitat and the maintenance and recovery of viable population of species in their original place. For at situ, it is the process of protecting an endangered species, variety or breed of plant or animal outside its natural habitat. However, all of these activities have to enhance so that they can be less longer. How our Malaysian government do it? They invest the scientific research to better understand the species and their yeah, habitat. This includes studies on the population of the bird and so on. Other than that, uh, they also create public campaign to inform the people about the importance of the conservation of the species. This public support can lead to stronger political will and more financial support for conservation. <laughs> Lastly is uh, international cooperation. This collaboration makes the conservation activities become more effective to protect species.